Hey guys, it's Rottweiler back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be talking about Raster, the best character in all of Rivals of Aether. <laughs> we have Pikachu, in Melee we have Fox, in Brawl we have Meta Knight, Smash 4, Bayo, and Smash Ultimate, Steve. But because Rivals of Aether is an indie game and therefore significantly smaller than the Smash franchise, no one really knows about our best character, and that's the point of today's video. So when talking about Raster, you need to talk about 1. His combo game, and 2. Slipstream. Slipstream is by far the thing that breaks his kit the most. You can't interact with it because if you want to parry it, which would actually get rid of the wind effect, he can just throw it the other direction anyway, and therefore you don't get the opportunity to parry. This win here boosts his speed significantly, so he goes from being one of the slowest characters in the game to now the fastest character in the game. Not only is he fast on the ground, but wherever he throws Slipstream, his overall speed will be increased, so in the air, he's much faster and on the ground he's much faster it's just, it just depends on if he's in the wind or not and as an approach it's very solid as well because slipstream can interrupt attacks quite often raster has three mid-air jumps this is essential to his combo game and his landing options he has the best combo arrows in the game mainly in his forward air and his up air but in the case that you are getting a little too far away from raster he has this down air, which if you're in front of him, pulls you in behind him. And if you're behind him, it pulls you in front of him. And so if you're holding away from Raster, he can actually chain these together, right? And he'll get some insane combos out of it. So you can't just hold away from Raster if you want to get away from him. That's the biggest thing, right? And so now where most characters, when they combo you and you hold away, you be for the most part pretty safe. You now have this 50-50 with Raster where it's like, if I keep holding in, I'm going to die because he has this, this down air. And how do you beat that down air? Well, you hold in because if you hold in, you'll go behind him. So he actually has this 50-50 when he's comboing you where it's like, I have to hold in because if I get dared, I need to be able to get away from him. Raster's back air is extremely quick and it changed into itself very nicely. It's got good disjoint, and overall just a solid combo move, though it does have less hit stun than his forward air and up air. Raster's Nair is a two-part kick that combos extremely well in Slipstream. Now honestly, even though these aerials are all very impressive in their own right, it wouldn't be enough if he didn't have a way to kill you. Until Eliana came out, he was the only character in the game with chargeable smash attacks in the air. In fact, he can only do these in the air. And there are a few people out there who actually thought that was a weakness. Unfortunately for everyone, that is not the case. Aerial strong attacks are easily the most powerful versions of strong attacks we've ever seen in a plat fighter. And they have less lag, at least as forward smash and up smash, have less lag if you charge them. And the hitbox on these moves are pretty insane. Like this up smash covers the entire platform and it's again, chargeable. And so when you give a character like this, with these aerials, enders like these claps, his combo game becomes the most ridiculous in the entire game. And his up special is one of the most punishing moves in the game on DI out. So one mistake with DI against Raster's combo game could potentially end your stock at around 50%, 60%, no problem. And last, but certainly not least, in terms of Raster's aerial finishers, is his Tornado. Just like that. So again, when you combine his ridiculous DI trap on down air, with the potential to honestly kill you at even 0% with this NATO, this is like the king of aerial ending moves. And so his aerial enders are just as good as his combo starting aerials as well. So now that we've established that he is the fastest character on the game with this slipstream out, what are his grounded options, right? Well, let's start off with his dash attack, which seems like a, honestly a pretty mediocre move, all things considered, when you compare it to other dash attacks. The problem is, when he's on a platform, he can dash tag off the platform. And so what this means is that they've given Raster a way to zone break both on the ground 
and also in the air. He has both. And with Slipstream out, it's not like his short hop approaches are bad either. Because they link into these aerials. Right? His ground game's looking pretty good. And we haven't even gotten to his tilts yet. And believe me when I say it only gets worse from here. Raster is the only character in the game who has three jump cancelable tilts. So this effectively makes all of his tilts launchers. And I'm not kidding. This is literally in the game. So all three of these are like a jump pad. So in Slipstream, yet again, since he's so fast, he's gonna be playing the whiff punish you. Moving around, trying to invoke a reaction, and the moment you overstep, he whiff punishes with one of these jump cancelable tilts, and now you're in the air. A character with aerials like this, air mobility like this, disjoint on his back air like this, right? Huge hitboxes on his down air that start DI traps, right? A character that can do all that in the air also has one of the best ground options in the game. Not to mention, he has a great tech chase game too, in his Nair 1. The angle it sends you is very low to the ground, so oftentimes it starts a tech chase. And in the wind, you can just so easily catch up to anyone. Things like that are now available. And so yet again, it's like he he's so good on the ground as well. Now this down special has some of the most hit stun in the entire game. This has an unholy amount of hit stun. It's honestly like a Kazi electric on this down special. That's how much hit stun this move has, right? And in Slipstream, it has the nerve to go even further than it already does. And last but not least for these grounded options, we have Raster's jab combo, which even still is pretty powerful compared to other characters. Like most characters, Raster can do jab one, jab two into a tech chase because almost every jab in the game can be teched after jab two. But after so many times of being tech chased, some people opt to just stop teching and try to retaliate as a mix up, or they might just straight up miss the tech, right? Almost every character in the game has a jab three that sends you out, but Raster is the only character in the entire game who has a jab three that sends you in the air. And so if you don't tech Raster's jab two, you give him access to jab three, which starts putting you into the air for again, these crazy combos, right? And so Raster has this safe interaction with Parry with his jab one, like every character. But if he hits you, he gains access to jump, cancel, tilts, right? So Raster's air game is amazing. His ground game is amazing. Surely his recovery is poor even his recovery is amazing i have three mid-air jumps and if i throw a slipstream i go even further per jump if raster has to go low he still has slipstream as a way to come back and slipstream like we said earlier can interrupt what you were doing previously so you may have had an aerial or a grounded attack that would have hit raster but it could be interrupted by slipstream fair and now his disadvantage has become his combo. So from an offstage position, Raster is still deadly because one mistake can lead to your stock even though he was supposedly in disadvantage. Not to mention that even if he has no double jumps or air dodge, he can still make it from essentially anywhere off stage, and sometimes with that NATO, you'll be protected by the hitbox. This is almost like Pitt's down B Guardian Orbitars, where it's like almost like a shield protecting you. Like, do you see this hitbox? And sometimes that NATO will start a full combo. And so, when you look at this character's air game, you look at his grounded options, and you look at even his recovery, he is easily the best character in this game. Even if he still to you isn't the best character in platform fighting game history. He is definitely the best character in this game. So like I said in the beginning, everybody knows about Pikachu in 64, Fox in Melee, MK in Brawl, 
Bayo Smash 4 Steve Ultimate, but no one knew about Raster. Now you guys do. And I hope he joins that roster of broken platform fighting game characters. It's been Rottweiler. Peace out. Raster just hits you. I guess you signed the waiver. Damn that combo looking like some man you will labor. No savior, but we keeping you in.